today all I'm gonna show you is how I use flax seed for my hair which helps in growth thickening and moisturizing my long unhealthy curly hair as you can see my ingredient for today is only flax seed but the way I utilize it is very very important before I start continuing, so these are my socials, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. If you are interested in maybe chatting with me, following up on what I'm doing, or just interested in my very, very non-existent social life, the links are all down below in my description box if you are interested. I'm not forcing you. I'm not forcing you, but I am forcing you. Before we get to it, let me explain to you how and why flaxseed gel is very good for the hair. Flaxseed is widely known to contain various vitamins and minerals which are very helpful in aiding the hair such as vitamin B, magnesium, magnesium and many many other stuff that I can't probably spell it out and the biggest of them all is omega-3 which all helps in treating the scalp prevent hair loss and promote hair growth using this as a weekly hair treatment will also aid in stimulating the skin cells to thicken and lengthen your hair um, add quarter cup of the flax seed into the pot and add a two and a half cup of water then let it boil slowly on the stove for about 10 to 20 minutes and it actually just depends on the heat and once you start realizing the water is beginning to produce bubbles take a spoon and start mixing it up because the seeds will stick onto the pan and this can help with the job So if you are interested and you are unaware on where to find it, I'm going to link an Amazon link down in the description box for you to know how it looks like and if you are interested in buying it, you can just go and buy it. After constant minutes of waiting and stirring the pot, once the water becomes sticky and murky in color, the gel is created and all you do is close the stove and let it cool down for 30 to 40 minutes for the next step. So all I'm gonna be doing is using this cloth, however if possible you can use a cheesecloth or a knee high stocking that isn't being used at the moment please please use the one which is not being used at the moment okay if you are a beginner you can take your time and do it in small batch however I'm just going to fill it up and squeeze the life out of this and make sure the gel and the seeds are separated for good because this can take up some strength and time with it so just be careful so you don't spill the seeds or you just don't um, make a huge mess of your life then this is the final product um, it's sticky it's moist <laughs> moist which is beneficial if you insist on using other essential oils before showering you can add there's nothing wrong with it just add any benefits to your hair you know Yeah, yeah. 
now ignore my overly tired looking face and this is how I apply the gel all over my head scalp hair and it's not necessary to comb but because my hair can unnecessarily create a knot for I have no idea why it's for the best so make sure you massage yourself pamper yourself as if you're in a spa massage for the blurred circul bl blurred blood circulation for your scalp just your overall head space health And using this gel which is homemade really really helped in defining my curls especially those which are seen as straight due to the constant damage that I caused to them and before showering and after showering I just apply to it it's very very good to go And now I'm done showering already and glowing. <laughs> no, but this is how my hair looks like. It seems bushy and I guess, but after drying, it really does feel soft and easy to slide through with my fingers.